Welcome, Taurus, to your end of the month reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, welcome back, subscribers, and anyone new, welcome, welcome. Let's get in here and see what's going on in the bullpen. Okay. Best messages coming out for the beautiful Taurus and cross watchers, of course. Can't forget the cross watchers. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that big old button. If you keep coming back and not subscribing, okay. Let's see what's going on. This message is coming out. Look at that Halloween. You guys are planning on celebrating Halloween. I hope you guys have a safe, beautiful, fun night. For those of you taking out the kiddos, I hope they're safe. Lots of smiles, laughs, and giggles. Let's see. Best message for the Taurus at the end of the month. You have the Fool card, which is crazy. I had the Fool card this morning, guys, on my short. <clears throat> if you guys haven't watched the short, I did a, a morning short. Um, and we had the Fool card, so... It always comes out somewhere, I notice. No matter whenever I do these all readings, it's always... You know, I always find the signs that it actually comes out for, which is crazy. I love it. Um, this is saying exactly what I said this morning on the short. May the sun be at your back, my friends. May you, you know, have this positivity for today is a new day. You are starting a new cycle of adventure and opportunity at the end of the month. Trust in life. You know, just enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your celebration of your new beginning. Something spontaneous is going to happen. It's almost like spontaneous combustion is what it kind of feels like. <laughs> um, and I love it because it's saying no more worries, Taurus. Get out of your head. No more self-limiting beliefs. Let's start out, you know, let's end this. Let's put it this way. Let's end this month by starting a new beginning, right? So that way when November starts, you're going to feel like the fresh new you, right? Pack light. In your emotions, not letting other people get you down. Don't worry, right? No more worries. Let's, let's just end this for now, right? At least, if anything, for the end of the month, let's have that freedom. The freedom from the stress, the negativities. Okay. If you guys need help de-stressing, you know, I have the second channel for meditation, uh, relaxation, guided meditation. I just put up a, or I'm going to get a new one up uh, called the five minute, six minute meditation. I already did the video. I just have to get it up. Um, but yeah, you know, let's just get in here and just really get these new perceptions going on. There is just no reason to feel trapped in our minds. Fresh new day, getting ready for a fresh new month. That's a great way to end a month. It's almost Christmas pretty soon, you know? Let's not worry about it so much. It's just, you know, got Thanksgiving to go through. For those of you in the United States, you know, it's time for family, time for fun, time to just relax. The end of the year is almost here. There's going to be some self-discipline, of course. But, you know, I feel like the self-discipline in this area is actually the self-discipline of getting rid of the worries. Excuse me, the doubts. Feeling carefree. Just for, even if it's just for a moment, just for a moment, feeling that sun on your back, not feeling stuck. I do feel like your obstacles and challenges are going to be minimized. It doesn't mean that they won't exist. It just means that they're not going to be so overwhelming. And the more we give the energy to obstacles, the harder it is to get out of the obstacle. So right now it's almost like... You know, Spirit's kind of saying over here, you know what? It, it's time. Let's not give all those worries and doubts all that credit. Let's not let it overtake us. Put us against the wall. Put us in a cage. You know what? They come, they go, we'll get through it. Let's not make it bigger than it is at this time. Because the time right now is just to work diligently, knowing that you're mastering every step that you're taking right now. Working at your highest standards that you always work at anyways, Taurus. Putting out your talents. Be yourself. Just feel 
good. This is really a feel-good reading. A reading of, yes, I'm working hard, but it doesn't mean that I have to have my ass up against the wall so so bad that I just feel like, you know what, I'm putting out all this and with no rewards, where's my rewards? You know what, the reward is going to be within yourself right now, Taurus. It's going to be just, you know what, let it go, let it, you know, let it wash away. Feeling that positive potential, feeling that positive energy just fill you and lift you up as the fool. People are going to say, what's wrong with Taurus right now? They were down and out last week, but this week, the end of the, the month, Taurus looks fresh, new, revived. Well, that's because I'm feeling that dawning of a new day, you know, as you kind of push open the curtains and kind of walk right through it, right into the sunlight. And then the sun is behind your back, just warming you and pushing all that positive energy through you. And they're going to say, why, Taurus? And you say, I didn't have no reason. There's no reason. The reason is because I want to. Why not? Every day we need something that makes us feel free. So right now it's saying is your time to invest in what makes you feel good. And the more that you feel good, the more you're going to invest. The more you're going to work, the more you're going to make. The harder your work will come, the more diligent you are. And the more you're not going to feel like you're working without a reward because the reward is always with, is already within. And the more that we have a reward within ourselves, the more we feel we're winning. Think about it. If we're in a negative zone and we're always pushed against the wall and trapped in a box, we don't feel like we're winning. But now you're going to feel like you're winning. And you know what? You will win. Looking back at what you've already achieved, it gives you the learning that you need to set more goals. Knowing that you're achieving, knowing you're winning. Because if we're not thinking about the negative, then there can only be positive. There's no in between. Unless you're going to go back and forth. That's the teeter-totter. Oh, I'm winning. No, I'm losing. No, I'm winning. Nah, that's just being the eight of swords again. No. Today is the day to say, I have the reward. Look at that. Your pasture is growing. Your grass is green within your pasture. People are going to want to enter your pasture. <laughs> Why? Because positivity radiates out into the world and brings in beautiful people. You could even be radiating towards this beautiful Capricorn Virgo or another Taurus or this Sagittarius could even be a Leo. You're radiating and it doesn't matter who this person is, but they're going to see you shining. They're going to see your, your pasture is green. I want to be in Taurus's pasture. Oh, it was a great day to be a Taurus. You're going to feel like rewards are coming to you, even if you haven't even seen the, the results just yet. That's because you're going to put yourself into the knowing. Believing is knowing. Not just a belief, but really putting your belief into the knowing. Remember, having a belief is one thing, but having faith becomes the knowing. And right here it's saying, I am the nine of pentacles, therefore I am. So you're going to feel comfortable. You're going to start reiterating this new energy that you're going to carry on with you through November. Will it be the whole November? We will see. But we do know one thing that's going to set the tone for how you're going to enter November. Smiling. Happy. Will it be happy every day? No. Absolutely not. But it doesn't mean that we have to get up on the wrong side of the bed and not put on our good pair of shoes to start the day. Then we'll see what the day has to for us. But remember, every little thing that's going to throw at you, you want to make sure that you're not carrying that weight all day. De stress. Say, oh, I got this. I got this. There's going to be some certain things that you're going to want to play it small to stay away from. And that's just saying, I'm withdrawing from things that no longer serve me. I'm staying away from anything that could cause obstacles or challenges at this time, especially when it comes to people situations. We're talking about overall situations where it can actually turn into something that is known. It's not acceptable. So if you're dealing with someone that you know causes nothing but an obstacle, a challenge, you're going to want to stay away from them. Spirit says now is the time to withdraw so that that way you can keep this energy going. It's, n it's not time to be playing with people who are small-minded, people who have negative outlooks, 
If they don't have the foresight and they want to be stuck in the past or they want to be stuck in their grudge or they want to be stuck wherever the hell they're stuck, that's fine for them, but that's not good for Taurus. Taurus needs to move on to better days. Taurus needs to plan on what it is they truly want for the comfort and the rewards. As I say, today is a good day to start. Yeah. Letting go and releasing the past worries, fears, people who want to keep you stuck. People who keep you overwhelmed and struggling. If they want to continue to keep talking about yesterday's bullshit, then they can talk to themselves. Because Taurus isn't listening. Staying away from people who are, like I said, small-minded, lack of motivation, exhausting my energy, taking my energy away from me, putting me on edge. I don't have time. Look, you got to figure, if you go to work, you probably already deal with people like that anyways. For some of you, not all of you. Some people work with very beautiful, you know, but could you just be customers and clients in itself? It might not be the coworkers. It might be the clients and the customers. You got to figure, you know, one way or another, you know, but all you're going to do is come home, shrug that off, Absolutely. You're reaching a new high level of commitment. This new high level of commitment is the way that you're trusting and giving yourself the wisdom, the freedom, and conforming to your own rules and to your own rewards, your own comfortability. Absolutely. Anything that you have a creative block on will now start moving. You're going to start moving away from that. Anybody that you feel, like I said before, it's coming up with that as well. I don't know who you guys are dealing with from the past, but they definitely feel very codependent on your energy just to make you feel overwhelmed. Maybe all they want to do is focus on what they are lacking. So you're going to want to check your environment. Your environment is your people, you know, if they're always lacking and they're always this and always down and always depressed, misery loves company. So you might want to say, hey, you know, I'm a little busy right now. I love you so much, you know, especially if it's a family member or somebody that you know is always down and out. But you're going to have to watch that because that's showing their anxieties are going to give you anxiety, give you overwhelmingness. And this is not the place to be right now. This is not the place right now is the place for you to start setting your goals, really feeling in tuned to what it is that you truly want right now for yourself. Not allowing the world to make shortcuts for you. There's no time for shortcuts. There's no time for, for you know, incomplete areas within your life. Somebody is definitely holding on for dear life when it comes to a commitment. Some ex really wants to keep you in their power. Keep you down. Keep you at their level. But you have to level up away from that. And if you know it's an environment of people that, you know, that... You don't have to keep it. It's not family or anything like that. You know what I mean? Then you need to find closure within that situation. You know, whether it's forever or for a time being. You need healing for that situation. There's too much despair. So you need to disconnect. This person is full of disappointment, regret, and failures, which also can work on your energy. Anytime we're in an environment of people who always have lack of, they tend to get us to, you know, remind us that we're lack of too. Oh, but Taurus, you know, you're in lack of love like I am. You're in lack of having that beautiful partner like me. You're in lack of not having the abilities and money. You're in lack. No, I'm not in lack of nothing. Because as soon as you feel like you don't have any lack, that's when all of the lackluster goes away and all the luster in itself comes. Watch your environment because it says you're winning. And right now is the time for your overall achievements and your promotions and your good news. And you have this beautiful good news that's coming towards you, Taurus. You will have this victory. You have some kind of public recognition from a lot of you where it's going to cause a lot of progress for you. You will be wealthy. You will attain to what it is you need. If you need, you know, any kind of contributions from the outside world, that's where that, you know, getting public recognized is. If you have a business out there, you know, 
put up those ribbons, cut that ribbon on your, you know, make that new menu, whatever it is, get your name out there, make a billboard, whatever you're doing when it comes to your work. Because no matter what, it says that Taurus is healthy, wealthy, and going to have that stability. But it's all going to start right now within yourself, right? I mean, remember, we're our own inner critic more than anybody else's. Moving on to fast times, you're definitely exactly where you're supposed to be. You're on the right. You're departing from the old you, departing straight into the new you with courage, with victory, on the right path, Taurus. And like I said, we're still going to have these little moments. We live in a world of duality. There's always going to be negative and positive. There's no such thing as one without the other. That's why when everybody says, oh, we're going to work towards world peace, there's no such thing. Not unless everybody's dead. The world will become world peace when no human lives here. Either that or it might be only you on the planet. But then you have to think. You could be fighting with yourself. We all watch that movie. That's why you had to make a ball, right? <clears throat> Conflict with self. But there's no such thing as in, there's no such thing as world peace. Because we were you can't have left without right. You can't have good without bad. Someone's always gonna want to control something. It's gonna be against someone else's freedom, someone else's thoughts. But right now, you're saying, I'm taking back my willpower and my control and moving towards what it is I want, making my own freedom. Even if it's not at someone else's standards, that's not for you. It's for you. you know what I'm saying? It's not for you. It's What's for you is what's for you. Someone else is not going to like what you're doing. That's for sure. But it always feels like as soon as we start doing things for ourselves, it always upsets someone else because they feel like they're the ones getting out. <clears throat> Black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. Wow. Your Halloween card. I love this card. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite ones of the deck. Okay, guys, Black Cat, let's see what it says. Let's read the little poem. This is a beautiful reading, guys. I have to say this is, you know, for a Taurus, this is a beautiful reading. I'd say if, if that was for anyone, it would be beautiful. Take the power. That's not really what it is, is take the power back. Sleek and black and lantern-eyed crosses your path with a hiss. Good luck and fortune sweep by with a kiss. Ooh, that's a good poem. That was a good one. Should this slinky black cat cross your path through this oracle, know that good luck and fortune will be meeting you promptly. Also know that your luck will be even luckier if you are prepared to take advantage of every special opportunity that comes your way. You got to be kidding. Yes, in some areas, the black cat is considered misfortune. But in this one, it doesn't want you to see it as misfortune. It wants you to see it as good fortune. Now, for instance, there could be a, a superstitious thing here for some people, and I'm going to bring this up really fast. I know, because that was the way I was raised too. It's going to be kind of hard for me to think that if a black cat came across me that I'm going to have good luck. Because I've actually had black cats come across me and I've had horrible luck. <laughs> Just as my superstition says. But let's all think outside the box for a second. Okay, It's Halloween time. Let's change that superstition just, just for a second and just say that if the black cat does come my way because it is Halloween, she's going to give me good luck, good candy, and good fortune. And I am going to be luckier than ever. That's called getting rid of an old superstition of negative omens for positive omens. 
Think about that for just a second. Okay, just think about that for a second. And don't make it just a black cat. Make it any cat. If any cat comes across my path, I am even more luckier than I was before. I know, and that one always trips me out, though. It, The picture itself is my favorite, but the way that it's read, I know. I know, I'm there with you. I was The first time I read that, I was like, that one's going to be kind of hard because of my superstitious beliefs, the way I was raised, um, and I've actually seen that happen. But we're going to change it around. Why not, Taurus? Why not change it around? You're already changing everything else. Right? You're already changing everything else, so we might as well change that around too. Keep that in your head for the Halloween season, right? Because all we want right now is the luck, and it says that we're in a lucky place. So might as well change things around for the season. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.